Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about the versioning and how versioning works. So let's get back in our bucket. And by clicking it, it takes us straight to the bucket. I'm going to try to create a notepad file here. Uh, text document, let's make it Imran and see if oh there's already an Imran okay this is version 0 let's see if we can upload it and if we do what happened oh, I think I made the mistake of clicking not saving it okay all right so let's go on upload you can see I selected the file I'm gonna click upload since it's in that folder what's happening here so what will happen if I try to open it let's see well it opened a text file yep this is version 0 let's suppose I go and make it just this is version 1 save it but before uploading it I go to my permissions oh sorry versions and I turn it on enable bucket versioning so we can enable the bucket versioning but we cannot disable it we can only suspend it so meaning once you have turned it on it's you can only suspend it so it's not permanently disabled ever so our versioning is on let's go to oh that was for the individual file right we had to turn it on for the uh, <coughs> uh, properties and bucket versioning right here you can see now it's enabled and multi-factor authentication delete is disabled so for right now you cannot do it through the GUI you have to come through uh, login through CLI or SDK or the REST API you can click here read more if you're interested in that so basically the easiest way would be CLI command line interface you can send the command and it will be turned on <clears throat> so if we click in edit here we can see it's enabled already we can go ahead we click on bucket and our around2.txt is there we're gonna try to upload the newer version again add file and right there upload I got the X uh, success I close it out right right click in here and this is version 1 but wait what happened in the bucket itself I have only one file here so did it delete the old one but if it has then what happened to the versioning see versioning if you're familiar with the puppet and like software development you know all those files they have their version so each modification it addition or deletion you still have the older one if you want to revert now let's see if we can go and find where to the versioning should be somewhere here name type this is the new interface so it's kind of hard to find uh, like oh right here right on my face show version and you can see now I have the two files the file that was uploaded before the versioning was enabled will be under null the file after it's enabled you can see the the ever version IDs that is to distinguish between them if I were to go and uh, edit the file again on my desktop and upload it again 
you'll see the exact same name but version IDs will change but for I, I want to show you something here let's go ahead try to open also uh, try to open this one I have the new one and I but show version try to open the old one what happened if I go to uh, bu buckets and I go to permissions I have it off I have the bucket policy in place everything that gets uploaded automatically becomes public then why the older version is uh, not accessible that is a security feature even if you have the policy in place anything that's uh, that gets a newer version published the older one is no longer accessible publicly if you want to you could go back in your bucket objects you could select it and make it public if you so before we do that let's close I'm gonna keep this one open because this is the most current one let's go and edit this file one last time this is version 2 2.0 we close save it again let's go ahead and upload it so go to bucket I have this one if I show you the version you can see three files now the version ID is different this is this is supposed to be the newest one I click on it and before I write uh, right click and show you uh, the new file you can see this is the second one if I refresh it it automatically switches over to the new one and if I try to go and this is the new link basically uh, I can sh show you by the uh, right clicking and if I were to go and try to open the second file now now it's been the exact same thing as the first one so if I were to make it public make public and now if I were to refresh it I have the version 1 or the version 2 so that's how versioning works All right, so let's wrap this video here. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.